everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. The top um, temperature is outdoors and the bottom is in my office. We, what is this, June 4th? And um, this is after the normal um, danger of frost is over. We usually plant after Memorial Weekend, which we did. And uh, we had a freeze last night, 31 degrees. And um, so we got frost, but we knew it was coming. We prepared for it, and I'll show you that in a little bit out here. Well, we did freeze. It wasn't just a frost, it was a freeze. But uh, we prepared last night by covering anything sensitive. The strawberries are pretty tough. And I don't know if you can hear the airplane. Um, I didn't do any video yesterday. It, uh, they sprayed pesticides right over our heads. The airplane was going right here, back and forth, back and forth, spraying pesticides over us. And uh, I grew up in farm country being uh, sprayed. <laughs> we used to wave at the airplane. And uh, I grew up in farmland and sprayed over my head all the time and we'd wave at the airplane and that yellow fog would come over us and we didn't think anything of it but that's why I was always sick and had allergies so anyway yesterday I was put down hard I was really sick I was uh I won't go into details but Chris also did a video he's been down uh he took it worse than I did so um yeah, now they're spraying again but not as close to us and I'm hoping and praying that uh the stuff doesn't come our way it went on our foods. I don't know if I'll be able to eat anything from our harvest um, this year because I'm deathly allergic to that, uh, the stuff they put on the food, the pesticides. I have to eat organics. So we'll see what happens when I taste our berries and stuff this year, which are coming along pretty good, by the way. So this is going to be a bit of a... Um, we're going to uncover the stuff. Look at how healthy and happy they are this year. I wanted to show you how we covered the plants to protect them and then um, we'll get them uncovered and we'll do a little walk around and see how things have progressed in the week since I did the last video overview of our garden and natural plants. Melanie did, did doing something here temporary. We're going to put another raised bed in right here, just narrow, but we're going to expand our growing areas on the high ground here. It is worrying me. I can smell the pesticides, so I'm hoping I don't get sick again. Um, I had a fever last night, so I think I burned it out pretty good. Uh, it was uh, freezing. We didn't have heat, so I had a thin sheet, and I was sweating profusely. So I think I burned out the toxins, and uh, today I feel good, but I can smell the pesticides. I'm hoping we'll be okay. Um, I covered all of my herb beds last night bit chaotic looking because I threw down everything I could think of to cover them but um, I'm gonna start uncovering these now and I made another herb bed which I didn't do on video I'll show you that here and explain that in a few minutes so a lot of stuff has been just rush 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 go 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 because our season is very late this year uh, I think our seasons are shifting back a month because we're having frost after what's normally the the last frost date which is memorial weekend and um last year we had a freeze in june too uh we had a 20 degree night and a lot of area surrounding towns were affected too so everybody lost their plants last year anyway i am going to get this all uncovered and um we'll see how things look should be okay it was it was 30 degrees so I think we're okay. We'll be back in a little bit here. Now, pansies are incredible. They survived the winter. They are amazing. These came up from last year and they survived the winter. I don't know what, if that's a weed or a flower. Um, they're incredible. And even our root flowers, I don't know what these are exactly. Melanie planted them last year. They were stayed green uh, about this high all winter, and we ha kept this covered with straw. So these are really durable. Look at how pretty, I like these ones. 
with the pattern in there. So we're gonna do a little walk around as well as show you what survived and what didn't. We did lose some plants. Um, Melanie has taro, it did take a hit. Yeah, it got squashed down. It did, uh, I don't know if it'll survive or not. She's got some other plants that she had in shelter. Um, some kind of an Asian salad or lettuce. I'm not sure which one it is, so I don't want to lie to you. But she had these all protected here. Now up in here, now if it sounds like I'm breathing heavy or hard, it is because I got poisoned yesterday. I wish they had given us the warning they said they were gonna. So here, we won't know for a while, but, oh, even the peas curled up. Peas are generally pretty tough, and that one took a hit. We, we lost a lot of our peppers. And we waited until after Memorial, after all danger of frost has passed, before planting. That one's absolutely a loss. That'll never recover its strength from my experience. But those back two ones may survive. Um, we got it. We have to put in a greenhouse. I was watching a video from uh, growing in Alaska, and um, they're growing the sensitive plants in a greenhouse. Our climate is changing, and uh, but it's changing colder, not warmer. So um, we have to change how we grow food. Melanie's water spinach may or may not make it. That one's gone. That one may be okay. That one's questionable that one's gone um, all this was covered well you saw that we had beans and I think we lost most of them they look pretty bad when they're dark colored and wilty they're pretty much gone and these were covered so and it's too late in the year to restart growing I think I just don't know I think it's too late in the year unless we build a greenhouse in a hurry and start new. Okay, this this tomato will never bear fruit in my experience. It's got too much damage. See the darker colored wilted foliage? This tomato has lost its strength. This one, yeah, that one has got a weird palish green look to it. That one's got a darker green. And this one here, has absolutely lost its strength. Back here, maybe, those two look okay. This one looks okay, that one took a hit. All these front ones lost their strength. I believe that the fence line may have protected them more. I don't know, Melanie built. She spent time and built an A-frame over these, very tediously and carefully, put everything together to protect them, but it wasn't enough. I think we hit 30 last night. I, I stayed in bed a little bit later because I had a fever from uh, the pesticides. So um, I, we may have had 29 or 30. When I got up, it was uh, just getting on to 31. No, oh, uh, our melons look like they took a hit. These came up on their own. Melanie tried to protect them, but they all look dark. We'll find out in a couple days. Um, these peppers look okay. Now she had more of an a-frame here see that some of these are going to be okay we'll find out later in the day look we got bell peppers growing now we bought these i bought walmart pepper mix oh look at that we bought these and have nourished nourished them for weeks in the greenhouse alternating in the greenhouse and in the uh um chalet the cottage until we planted last weekend um, after all danger of frost has passed. You know, I keep saying that, but we have a change in our climate, and so we're going to have to react, you know, appropriately for that and moving forward. Oh, I don't think they're going to make it. Melanie has sweet potatoes here. I don't know if they're going to do okay. We lost our sweet potatoes last year, too. This is Michelle's bed. Her lettuce, lettuce is tough. This is Michelle. She has her own grow bed, her own plants. I think those three tomatoes are going to live for some odd reason. That one may have took, taken some damage. But Michelle has her own, her own grow bed, all her own. She's maintaining it and she's caring for it. This is hers. We lost our plums. They just can't handle the 70 degree temperature changes from day to night. 
from day to day. Um, the plums are gone. Grass is growing beautifully in our garden. Now Melanie had, she did not protect the peas. These we put in from seed last week, a week and a half ago, I don't remember. She did keep cover over the beans that we planted directly in my mini greenhouse, which is now dilapidated. The plastic decomposed three months after I put it in. My peach tree has an off color to the leaves. A little droopy, so we'll see how that comes out. As you can see, it's still unsure if it wants to open up totally or not. A lot of the branches haven't, well, yeah. There, that one died. It's frustrating this year because everything is in confusion. A lot of the buds didn't open yet, and those that did took a hit already. Um, I'll show you some of the others. Today is a gardening overview. An update from a week ago. Things are leafing out, but they're a little bit droopy. They, oh wow, wow. I wonder if it was colder than I estimated. See, I slept late. That has absolutely been damaged. This is a little oak and it is absolutely droopy. Not good. Look at this one. So even the natural wild plants took a hit. Now the Saskatoon berries are coming along. Thankfully, that's food for the family. I don't know now if I can eat it because it's been sprayed with pesticides though. So that we will see if I'm allergic to that now because I can't, I have to have all organics. So my peach tree, oh, I don't know this year. There's only three, three buds have opened at all. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. Saskatoon's growing happy. My other peach tree has one, two, two buds opened. Oh, there was a third and it got froze. I don't know what's gonna happen with these this year. My cherry, if it's alive, hasn't done a thing, nothing, yet, at all. So, oh wow, look at this one. That's a wild oak, look at those leaves drooping. Oh wow, they it froze in here last night. I hope that shows up, the, the discoloration of that. It froze last night. So, a lot of things took a hit last night. This is a, a very off year. Look at this one. Brand new growth is just curling up and the sun is coming up now. Now my apples seem to be pretty tough. Now if there's any benefit to the pesticides, all those worms that have been eating my plants are uh, going to be killed. Of course, it'll probably kill all the good stuff too. I have no idea what side effects that's gonna have that spring. Um, there's a lot of holes in my plants from those uh, tent caterpillars, they're called. Um, this branch doesn't look good at all. I don't know what got that. But the apples seem pretty hardy. This tree always stands strong. And we got little apples forming. Oh, I'm so happy. If it, as long as the pesticides don't get me. Hopefully it's early enough, it won't affect me. But these are, these are strong. This is a strong tree. We got, hopefully those flowers will turn into apples. We definitely have some apples forming. Let me take you to the other part of the orchard. That drooping wild oaks. This one, look at them drooping. Oh, look at that one. Just really, I don't know if they'll recover. Now last year they did re-leaf re out after they lost their leaves, so we'll see what happens. I'll keep an eye on it. But over here, I'm working on my new entrance gate to my orchard. I gotta saw out some lumber. Let me get through here. I put in nine baby apple trees 
that I pulled out from the base of another. I don't know if I mentioned that because these were recent. I just pulled them out and put them in the ground. There's another one. And uh, over here, I did not have this one covered, so it's not looking good at all. The babies are a lot more sensitive and tender. But there's one. They're scattered all throughout. Ouch. Yeah, that one doesn't look good. Right there. I don't know if that'll survive. There's a snake just went in right here. Oh, there he is. Can I show that on camera? Uh, Melanie is deathly afraid of them. I let them go because they eat the, the bugs and stuff. I just don't want to grab them in the mouth accidentally. They can bite you. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't like cause harm, but it can scare you and could cause an infection. There's his head. Let's see if I can get in there. It's hard to see with the sun in my eyes. Boy, I can't see my camera. Well, his head is in there. Where is he? Well, anyway, if I can see it or not. I can't see my camera close enough. I don't want to get too close and scare him. Oop, there he goes. Alert. I cannot see my camera in this light. I'm sure you can see them. Well, anyway. Oh, there you are. I wanted to show his head. I need him sitting up alert. All right, well, tarragon got squashed from the tarp, but other than that, I think it's okay. Um, time is tough. Time is really tough. Marigolds are looking good. By the way, Everybody says put marigolds in, they stop the rodents and uh, deter rodents. Well, they didn't tell my rodents. There's a ground squirrel running around cutting them off at the base and killing them. And randomly, he killed two of our tomatoes. They just, I don't know why. They'll cut the plant off right at the ground and leave it there without even, you can see where they bit through the stem enough to cut it and it drops and they don't even take a bite. They don't even eat it. I don't know why they do that. But they run throughout our property killing, randomly killing. So this tree is finished for the year. I uh, have no idea what's going on. It was gonna have apples and it's dying. I don't know why. Raspberries we brought in are looking beautiful. My um, skull cap hopefully will be fine. We're gonna see more later on throughout the day how these things recover. Mint. It's pretty tough. Had this tarped. Um, bee balm is beautifully spreading this year. Yarrow, medicinal plant. I don't know what this is. The main tree died and this grew up from it. I have no idea what it is. Anybody can tell me, I'd love to know. I have no idea what that is. Um, the main tree is dead and this came up from the root which could be a different fruit entirely so that's why i won't know until it bears fruit if it ever does and in here everything should be okay i had some of it double tarped there's mother of time gonna grow with beautiful pink flowers my mint plants on the fringe here spreading i'll come back and show you in a better light hopefully they'll all be okay I can't really see much in here yet. I gotta get out and keep clipping. You can't tell I weeded out an area. My uh, basil doesn't look happy at all. Uh, rosemary looks fine. A couple of oh no, no, I wanted to see these. Oh, I wanted to see what they were gonna be this year. That's the end of them for this year. They froze good. I babied them, and I watered them, and I mulched them. Our squash, I think that one's dead, and that one might pull through. So that's a summary this year so far. Uh, lost 30% of our vegetables, I'd say. Possibly some of our fruit. So I'm going to bring this video to a close for today and let you have it. I don't know if you can hear the airplane. They're spraying west of us, so the spray is coming. 
Oh, there. This is what they're spraying for. Hey, can you see it? What a monsters. Give me the sunlight. This is what it's all about. They are destructive. I uh, try to fight them by hand on my fruit trees. I don't like pesticides myself. I try to fight them by hand um, and keep my food natural. We did have, they're all gone. Oh, bummer. We had a bunch of apple blossoms. I don't see any sign of any apples anymore at all. Why? There's another worm. I'm not going to show you my processing of it. Um, they're all gone. Where'd they go? I had apple blossoms. Here's a couple. I don't know if I can get you light. I don't know if they're going to make it. They look pretty rough. This whole side is all gone. I have no idea where they all went. There's no trace that there was ever apple blossoms on this tree. Just a couple left. I'm really hoping to see what this is going to be. This is one that uh, we brought home when we first moved here. And it was starting to grow better and better. And it's starting to bear fruit. Well, it was going to. It all went away. It's just too brutal, this uh, conditions this year. My raspberries, that's a waste of money right there. Uh, blueberries. I think that's dead. That was a waste of money. The blueberries got killed. I had four blueberry plants in here that we just bought last weekend. Um, I don't think, I think, yeah, that, that's dead. That's done. Well, guys, garden updates. June 4th, 2022. Planted after all danger of frost has passed and lost 30% of our plants. We are going to grow in a greenhouse from now on. My decision is made. I will tell you my plans in another video coming soon. Well, life is harsh out here. We gotta adapt and deal with it, and that we will do. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't. You never know what's coming to the homestead tomorrow. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Talk to you all later.